So as promised here are the disadvantages of a hybrid car. Number one, less power. Hybrid cars are twin powered and hybrid cars are twin powered engines. The gasoline engine, which is the primary source of power, is much smaller as compared to what you get in single engine powered cars, while the electric motor is of low power. The combined power of both is often less than that of a gas powered engine. It is therefore suited for city driving and not for speed and acceleration. Uh, number two, can be expensive. The biggest drawback of having a hybrid car is that it can burn a hole in your pocket. Hybrid cars are com comparatively expensive than a regular petrol car, gasoline car, and can cost five to $10,000 more than the standard version. However, that extra amount can be offset with lower running costs and tax exemptions. Uh, number three is uh, poorer handling. A hybrid car ho houses a gasoline-powered engine, a lighter electric engine, and a pack of powerful batteries. This adds weight and eats up the extra space in the car. Extra weight resu results in fuel e extra weight results in fuel inefficiency, and manufacturers cut down uh, weight, which has resulted in p motor and battery downsizing and less support in the suspension and body. Higher maintenance costs: the presence of a dual engine and a continuous improvement in technology makes it difficult for mechanics to repair the car and maintenance costs is also much higher. It is also difficult to find a mechanic with such expertise. Accident from high voltage and batteries. In case of an accident, the high voltage pr In case of an accident, the high voltage present inside the batteries can prove lethal for you. There is a high chance of you, of you getting electrocuted in such cases, which can also uh, make the task difficult for rescuers to get other passengers and driver out of the and the driver out of the car. Battery battery replacement is pricey. According to Green Car Reports, battery replacement of hybrid vehicles is currently rare. However, if a battery needs to be replaced, it can, be pri it can get pricey. Battery disposal and recycling. The batteries that are at the end of their useful life cycle can be recycled to harvest saw uh, usable uh, materials for repurposing. This removes waste from the environment, but the main issue with recycling lies in the collection rate of vehicle batteries. The same problem lies in recycling lithium batteries and mobile electronics. Although lithium is 100% recyclable, Extracting it costs too much to make it to make it of high economic value. It is only done because of federal mandates and or ecological purposes. The source of hydrogen so hydrogen the hydrogen fuel cells cell issues. Try saying that five times fast. The source of hydrogen can be both clean sources such as solar or wind power or dirty sources like coal and natural gas. Sourcing from coal and natural gas undermines the ecological motive for the use of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Production of hydrogen is also expensive and the fuel cells require to be refueled at a hydrogen station. At present, these stations are only located in California near Toronto.
So anyways, um, so that's some food for thought. If you've ever thought of getting yourself, renting or buying um, a hybrid vehicle, this point here, accident from high voltage and batteries in case of in case of an accident that is a point that really catches my attention so i am going to be doing more research about the safety of uh hybrid vehicles that are involved in accidents and i do hear that there is a process that if you ever find yourself trapped in a hybrid vehicle because you've been in a, a serious accident. I hear there's a process that uh, first responders have to go through before they're able to rescue you from that car. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know any very much about it, but I will be researching that and I will do a video about that um, once I've found a good source of information for that. So stay tuned for my review of uh, this hybrid car that I'm going to be renting for the next two days. I'll be putting that on both my, I'll be putting a shortened version on my TikTok and then putting a more extensive version of that review right here on my YouTube channel.